Hey, what's going on everybody? Today I've got a task I'm doing called The Fish Aren't Biting. This is in Flatland, and I've just got to go up here to Pipeworks and pick up one load of service spare parts. Take it down here to somebody's fishing spot. And I'm going to be using a Voron AE4380 to do this. I'm traveling with a high range gearbox again as to not waste any time. It's a little weird to me though, they say they want the service spare parts to repair this thing. Uh, it's never clear to me what they're repairing. If you know what they're repairing, let me know. It's raining this time, so that, that's a little different. I haven't really seen the weather change too much this season, so that's pretty cool. Not a very big gas tank on this one, 67 gallons, but uh, actually can't even hold anything on the roof either but not a problem for a task this small. I use all three of the Vorons from time to time. I don't really have a problem with any of them. Though I think one of them, maybe the Voron D, has that squeaky noise it makes when it, when it breaks or when it shifts, something like that. No big deal though, just a, just a funny little noise. Have I ever actually gone to the left side here? I think I've gone to the left side maybe once. I just prefer going through the water down here. Nope, nothing wrong with going this way. I would probably take almost anything through this way. Almost any trailer and cargo. Unless maybe it was something tall and I thought it maybe hit on this pole coming up. Nah, I'd probably clear that too. Alright, here I am picking up the service spare parts. And yeah, see the info there showing up on the screen? That's me holding down the R3. Clicking R3 to show the info because I play in immersive mode. And so when I get to these pickup spots, I just I click R3 to make sure I'm picking up the right thing. can't remember exactly where, but at some point coming up here, I just, I think I decided to go in first person for a while. So of course I'm going to cut back through the water over here again. Uh, but it's just a little too deep for first person. It knocks me back into third person just for a second. Actually, when it knocks you into that, you're just out of it. Yeah, you just have to go back into first person yourself. This is kind of where it gets awkward for first person, just when you're going uphill and can't really see where you're going. Can't see over the hood.
probably a chance for a real nice view out there to the left, but uh, I'm not going to take any chances looking that way. I probably would have crashed right into the railing or one of these telephone poles. Trying so hard not to uh, <laughs> swerve and hit the railing and stuff. It's just a little more awkward sometimes in first person. Uh, I guess I'm used to seeing the tires or something. And I've decided now I've had enough of that, so back to third person. There's a tree laying down on the path here, but you kind of just ride right through it. Yeah, there's a lot of those on these maps. Alright, coming up on the so-called fishing spot now. Nice, nice little spot. Another chance for a good view that I'm not going to risk swinging around to look at. <laughs> yeah, here you go. Maybe the most dangerous part of the mission. Just be careful not to tip over on this little slope right here. Alright, so there's the service spare parts they wanted at the fishing spot. 360 XP for this one, 4,250 cash. And I guess that'll wrap it up for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.